For today, I thought we would swing back westward as we take a look at a Thai Japanese co production. Released in the US under the title Muay Thai Warrior, because the people at Welgo didn't think to call it Muay Thai Samurai, I mean, come on! The film, originally titled Samurai Ayotaya, is based on the real life exploits of Yamada Nagamasa, played here by Segi Ozeki, a samurai who rose to prominence in the Ayotaya era of Thai history. While I won't go into the details of where the film was accurate or inaccurate, one should always take films that are based on true stories with a grain of salt. As for this film itself, it plays out very similarly to films like The Last Samurai or Dances with Wolves, where an outsider falls in love with a new country, culture, and people, and then vows to fight to defend it. The only difference here is that Japan isn't trying to colonize Thailand in this film. Yet. But rather, the main character is fighting against those who would jeopardize relations between Japan and Ayotaya by staging various attacks under the guise of soldiers from Hong Sawadi, a rival kingdom to Ayotaya. After he's attacked by the treacherous Kuroda, played by Mukuda Han, Yamada is rescued by fighters from a nearby village who nurse him back to health. From here, we slowly see Yamada become enamored with the culture and people of Ayotaya, leading him to eventually study the art of Moi and become a bodyguard for King Nareswan, played by Somji Jong Johor. Narratively, the film holds up pretty well, but it is with the action scenes where the cracks start to show. Early on, it looks promising, as it relies on a great deal of skill for choreography and acrobatics. The village ambush around the halfway point looks particularly impressive, as the assassins are beaten back with torches along with the brutal punches and kicks that Loy is known for. By the time you reach the third act, however, the film becomes a little too reliant on the use of CGI, particularly when the characters are using blades. It's to the point of being laughably bad as we see unrealistic reactions to slashes and stabs mixed with almost cartoony blood splatter. On top of that, the film also begins to make use of editing tricks, such as messing with the frame rate to make things look more impressive when it wasn't really necessary. It's a shame because the moments where it's just hand-to-hand -hand fighting, the choreography looks pretty good. But once you see them starting to use swords, yeesh. Overall, while the film does a good job of telling its story, the presentation starts to fall apart towards the end of the film, despite there being some really strong emotional beats. While I still recommend the film, it's best to go in with tempered expectations. The film is currently available through Wellgo USA and can be usually found as part of various action movie bundles, along with other films that have fallen into relative obscurity, so you won't really need to break the bank in order to see it. 